Hey everybody out there, how's it going? I haven't done a video. Uh, happened to do one the other day, but I deleted it because I had a friend here and some of the stuff he was saying. I mean, nothing to do with me with what I was doing, you know, with the video. But um, I'm back. And today and do a pepper video. This one I haven't done yet. I'll tell you a little story about it. We have here a PA-353 pepper. And what it says about this pepper is uh, doesn't get diseases. It was developed in the state of Pennsylvania. Um, I'm going to keep seeds out of it because the other story with this pepper is uh, my friend Doug Repture. I was over visiting last Friday and I saw it and picked it and I looked at it. I was like, what? And it was a little more orange than what it is now. So it got more on the red side. But um, the story with this pepper plant, because I've been growing plants for a long time. Maybe a good, uh, well, since we've been living in the house here, it's almost 20 years. But going back to my old house was probably another five, six years. Oops. This, this pepper is from a plant I gave him four years ago. That's right. I kid you not. He kept, I told him, take it in, put it up. Put it. And I'd been checking on it every year, and it's amazing how it was growing. So when I picked this last week, he's there, take it with you. And I said, oh, really? So we're going to keep seeds out of this because uh, you don't get root rot and diseases with this. It almost looks like a habanero. And I don't know how I'm going to ha handle it. And I didn't eat nothing. So <sighs> that's to me is a big no-no. I just hope it goes all right here. To me, it's probably going to be like habanero heat. But, um, like I said, I'm going to... Oh, I can smell that. Ooh. Uh, very thick-walled. It almost looks like a miniature, like red or green bell pepper, the kind that aren't hot. Same kind of thickness. But like I said, I normally would eat the whole thing. I want seeds from out of this for next year. Hopefully, uh, they will grow for me. I suppose we got big black mamas. Now, um,. I talked to Troy Primo about them and showed him a picture, and he goes, those are not big black mamas, even though I've found pictures of them that they look like them without, without the wrinkles. Uh, they're one of these. And then I got these guys. Pull one out here. Almost looks the same, but it's not. A little green there yet, but um, let me get the pepper, the seeds out of here. Oh, yeah, nice amount of seeds here. So, um, like I said, I'm going to grow these next year. This is from a fourth. I guess generation you call it a year, a generation for how plants grow. But um, fourth year generation. I ate one of these, I think the first year he had it there. And um, so if I drink a little bit and start getting a little bit of a buzz, it's a, a lot of times I'm finding out I'll eat the hot stuff and it don't, it don't bother me as much as if I wasn't drinking. So... As always, I'm prepared. Um, 
Hopefully this will go down good. You can see some. Seeds there. Okay, phone stayed up. So we're gonna go and chomp these down. Like I said, the heat's probably gonna be like a habanero. And it's nice because it's a four, like I said, four year four year old plant. Um, I gave my friend Doug some, so I'm in five minutes thirty five seconds now, so we're gonna eat. So here goes. Very thick wall. I got some heat though. There's a bird's out there. Sort of like, vague, vaguely got a taste of like a bell pepper, a big one there. Getting a little red. <clears throat> like I said, a PA 353 red. There's some good heat there. I've had hotter. Feel on the front of my tongue going across. Nothing in the throat. And I did get it like a, like I said, it's a thick walled pepper. And I did get a slight tasting of, like, if I had a bigger pepper, the grunts you grow in a garden, you put in food that don't have heat. Good heat, though. I don't think it's as hot as a habanero. Because of the thickness. Not a bad tasting pepper. This is one of these ones I don't really have to chase. I mean the heat's there. I remember doing this last year, doing the Reapers and that. Say, yeah, this is a walk in the park out at my friend's house. <coughs> <coughs> but every year, get you get it gets harder to do. So I do it now, and I can look back when I get older. So yeah, this is what I used to do because I like to do it. My friend Doug, who I got this pepper from, he told me he goes. He started eating for health benefits, but um, he told me, you eat hot stuff like that, he goes, you're going to live to be 90 years old. But I don't think this is going to like screw my system up that much. Got my ranch dressing, celery, pepperoni stick, something to drink, yeah, some crackers, but yeah, I'm not going to do nothing. Scoville units, I'd say probably about 300000 with this, but um, it's a good pepper. When I was hot, I gave him some black mamas. They're, oh, excuse me.
excuse me. Heat was a little stronger when I did it. It's coming down now. But overall, yeah, actually that's a peppery good I could probably cut up and use in using salsa. But um last week I did the the black mama, the harder one. One that has little like warts on it. That was a couple freeze pops. I mean it was hot. So now well, furthermore, I mean that's it. I handled that about as like I did three years ago when I did it. And we just get the nose blowing. I'm going to cut this off. Yeah, it's coming down. So. This is from the. Say goodbye. From the Pepper Man. Till next time. Peace.